it is Miss Diana and today I will be going over some different things that you can make to include in a sensory box. Now <clears throat> for this project um, we're going to be making cloud dough. Um, so it's like um, instead of making play-doh out of flour that I have here we're gonna make it a little bit more softer, more a little bit more pliable. It's gonna be crum like crumbly consistency when you make this type of um, of dough. If you want to make it more um, like a play-doh consistency, you would just have to add more to it so that it can be play-doh consistency. But we're gonna be doing some cloud dough. So you're going to need a container. I would recommend maybe like a plastic container, not a glass container like I have here, um, or like those aluminum trays. Those will be perfect because you could keep it in there, you could store it in there. Or if you have like a plastic, a plastic one instead of glass, and have like a lid over it, that's um, perfect as well. And then it's important to measure your ingredients because you don't want to kind of ruin the consistency. So I have a one cup measuring scoop and you're going to need um, tablespoons for measuring and then I have my flour here you're gonna need some vegetable oil and um, food coloring I have more here for more food coloring okay so what you're going to do is you're going to put two cups of the flour that I have in here okay and then you're going to add a quarter teaspoon of the vegetable oil. Okay. So you needed two cups of flour and now this is a quarter teaspoon, okay? We're gonna put a quarter teaspoon of the oil inside here. Okay. And then you can add whatever food coloring. You can also section it off and make different um, colors. So actually, let me just mix this first and let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more because it needs to be a little bit more kind of crumbly consistency. consistency that it's supposed to so you're just going to keep mixing this and then as you can see it start clumping and balling together that's actually what you want to see so you're just going to keep mixing until it kind of uh, forms more together Got it. okay um, so I'm gonna do like different I'll do two different colors. I was gonna do four, but I don't have that much room. But as you can see, the consistency, it's very, very crumbly. Um, we'll add a quarter teaspoon of water as well. It can, um, it, it will also help put this together, okay? So now I'm going to add some colors. I'm going to add blue. And there's no amount of drops that you want, you put, however many drops or however many drops your child wants to do and how dark or how light they want it to be and whatever color they want to do as well. So 
I'm using gel food coloring. And it's um it's starting to to get blue. And your kids can do this mixing process with um, their hands, okay? Or they could do it with a spoon. Um, but this is the whole point of the sensory is to do with their hands. Uh, so when I do the other color on the other side, I'll use my hands for that. So as you can see, it's coming to, it's turning a blue. So you would play with it, you know, put a little bit more coloring little by little. And you save this and you use this um, when your child wants some sensory play. See, I like how that came out, very good. And I'm going to do, oops. I'm gonna do that other side a different color. Side. So I have green that we're going to do. My son picked this color out. And um, before he was touching this, and he actually thought it was really cool. What's your comments on this when you were touching it? He said it feels like kinetic sand. Okay, so he says that it feels like kinetic sand. So um, I am gonna go in with my hands with this one, but I just wanna mix it a little bit just to start, and then I'll go in with my hands. I will go in with my hands and see this is a consistency that you want when you add the oil okay this is a cloud sand so this is a nice way to you know get your hands in there oh it is kind of relaxing wow oh I like this <laughs> I really like this this is very cool I like this feeling so this is a good um, item to have. And see how, look, when you go in with your hands, it definitely deepened the color. See, yeah, that definitely um, deepened the color, so. This is nice um, to play with. Uh, you know, they could put their fingers inside. You can put little pieces of, um, you know, you could put little items in here and then kind of have like a little scavenger hunt. Um, but overall, I like this. And I hope that you try this with your child. Hope that you try this with your, your kids. And you know, and you know, they could be doing this. You can add in all the ingredients. Uh, the kids can uh, do put all in the ingredients, and they'll have fun with this. So, just show you what it's going to look like. Very nice. All right, everyone, try this at home with your kids. I hope you guys have a lot of fun. My son was playing with this, he enjoyed it and had so much fun.